Now, finally, because we know now how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals, we can add that in um, for our order of operations. So now not only can we work with whole numbers and fractions, but we can also work with decimals. Now don't forget your rules for order of operations. It would be parentheses and grouping symbols first, then exponents, multiplication and division. Remember that's left to right. Neither one of them is more important than the other one. And then addition and subtraction, which again is left to right. Neither one of them is more important. So these are almost um, the exact same operation basically. Let's work a problem and see what's going to happen here. Here we have 7.2 minus 5.2 plus 3.5 squared. So we have subtraction, addition, and squaring. The squaring must come first because the exponents come before addition and subtraction. Now 3.5 squared literally means to multiply 3.5 times 3.5. So we could do that out to the side if we wanted to. 5 times 5 would be 25, um, 5 times 3 would be 15, 16, 17, 3 times 5 would be 15, 3 times 3 would be 9, plus 1 is 10, so that would be 5, 12, 2, 1. Now we had to move our decimal 1, 2 places because of the factors, so we're going to move it back in 2 places. So now we have 7.2 minus 5.2 plus, and we now know that 3.5 squared is 12.25. Now we can continue on. We have subtraction and we have addition. Those are basically the same operation. We just move left to right. So I'm going to have to do 7.2 minus 5.2. Again, do that out to the side. So remember our decimals have to stay lined up with subtraction. So 2 minus 2 would be 0. 7 minus 5 would be 2. So this would be 2.0 plus 12.25. And now we just have to do our addition. 2.0 plus 12.25. And remember, when we add decimals, we keep this nice and lined up again. So that would be 5. 2, 4, 1. So our final answer would be 14.25. Alright, let's do one more. Here we have parentheses and exponents and multiplication and some subtraction. So we have to do a lot of stuff here first uh, in, in the proper order. Parentheses come first. So we're going to have to add 6.8 plus 9. Now because it's a whole number 9, the decimal comes after it. So we keep things nice and lined up. So when we do that addition, this would be 9.68. Oops, it's not a very good parenthesis there. There we go. And I'm going to recopy everything else. Now, now even though we have a parenthesis, there's nothing to do. So we need to do our exponents next. So 1.3 times 1.3, we need to do that multiplication, and we moved one, two places, so we have to move two places back in. So this would now be 1.69, and I'm going to recopy everything else. Now we have subtraction, multiplication, subtraction. Multiplication has to come next. So when we multiply 9.68 times 3.2, we're going to end up with 30.976. Now I'm running out of time, so you could go ahead and do that. Make sure that that's correct, but I believe it is. Then we'd have to do, we now only have subtraction, so we could move left to right. 33 minus 30.976, and again, you could do this out to the side. That would be 2.024, and then when we subtract 1.69, we should get 0.334 as our final answer.